we just hooked it up with our main man Peter Dees at our RV resort and he has right. given us the directions to Medicine Wheel. That's right, in the Bighorn Mountains. Yes. I'll show you really quickly what this looks what like. That? This is our RV park here. We're going to hop on uh, Route 90, get off at the Ranchester exit and take 14 all the way into the Bighorn National Forest. At the split, we continue across on 14A. This he highlighted because there's usually a lot of moose here after Bear Lodge, which is a place, a good place to eat, he said. And um, it's been there for 100 years. Then we just continue on, hopefully see some moose, because Chris hasn't seen a single one yet. And I only, I've only seen one on our trip, and it was in the Bighorn Mountains, <laughs> actually. When we just crossed through them, but it was down. We took the lower, a lower route, the southern route through them last summer. So hopefully we'll see some. We continue on, and here's Medicine Wheel. Entering the Bighorn Mountains is a climb from the rolling plains below to the high altitudes of the steep mountain slopes. As we enter the Bighorns, it's time for us to focus our minds on our path and our destination. Like so many who have come before us, we seek the Bighorn Medicine Wheel. There is some mystery that lies at the Medicine Wheel. Who created it and what its exact purpose is remains unknown. In this case, what is unknown adds to the alluring qualities of the Medicine Wheel. And so we are driven to our destination, and on the way we also spot some elk. We reach the final portion of our journey by road, and from here we will be on foot. Just as the travelers of old, we follow the same path to the same destination. If you found the medicine wheel alluring, please be sure to read our full blog post. The link is in the description below. As always, thanks for watching.